now she's like, all right, so now the new thing is I make up all these analogies for Crystal. She's like, Kreskin. No, you know what, Kres Oh, that's that's when she breaks some more of my silverware. Because I think that's when Kreskin <laughs> bent a spoon or something. She's like, the amazing Kreskin, I yeah. remember him. Didn't he bend yeah. a spoon or something? Uh, oh, that's <laughs> Crystal. She touches it, it just bends and breaks. So I said, Crystal, what happened? Crystal's like, okay, now why am I the source of this deal? Come on, come on. Yeah. Um, so now, and then like when I want her to do the video, right, I go, come on, Spielberg, we need to get the shot. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon looking up analogies, writing them on a cheek <laughs> and blurting them out to Crystal. So I'm just on the ground. Right, take on this uh, with all my little analogies. Yeah. Okay, guys, so I got We gotta go. I gotta make up some more of my crystal analogies. And well, well I'll get Summer to make us the pecan bars. And <laughs> Summer's special surprise gift is in the house. And it's locked in the room with the vacuum cleaner. So you know she's in there. <laughs> with the door. She's probably picked the lock by now. Oh my God. She's probably. Oh no, don't run, hun. Don't run. No, no, we don't like running. No, didn't you hear me yelling at Crystal for running earlier? Yeah. Well, we don't want to do that. And the reason is because it makes you seem like another dog. And oh, then I later they're not, you know. I always did it to engage. I always treat the worst. No, no, okay. it's the wrong engagement. I'll show you how I, I, I engage them. I wait until they're running away. Puppers! Molly! I hope you got that on film. Darn it! <laughs> Wait, no, no, wait, I'll start walking now. She'll start by my mm -hmm. feet. She'll film it. Never mind. The way I engage them is bumpers! I install a little spin and I keep practicing. Put it later. Ah! They don't confuse me with another dog. I've got very specific behaviors in that I have the treats. And I'm backing away, and and these are actually, uh, you know, they're getting to the age where they start getting a little more independent. But you know, I've created this. Look at me, I'm fascinating. <laughs> Just ask them. <laughs> you know, I know why. Oh, God. That's that who I am. And even even then, I'm backing away. But that's without pager. Yeah, that's with the pager. With the pager. Okay. Well, again, my. Oh, I'm just curious. That's well, yeah, and, and that's what I, it's hard for people to understand that sometimes, but my vertical skill is, watch, bumpers with the pager. It's, you know, for somebody to say, well, I can get it to, well, if that's your vertical skill, you know. Bumpers! But it's a specific, do you see how it's a very specific, I'm, I've created that behavior, and then I can just cause it to occur. And that's, you know, and again, that's me approaching the dog from, the behavior's viewpoint, and really to be successful with training, you have to be able to do that. Instead of just, oh, he loves me. Bumpers does whatever I say. You know, because then you're just kind of set yourself up for disappointment. It's like, well, gosh, he must not. Bumpers! Do you see how I just, I'm coming, girl, I'm coming, I'm sorry. Oh, were you even filming? Oh. Yeah. So you don't give any verbal praise when he comes or anything like that? Or your well, the, the... At this stage, really, the, the, the treat denotes the end of the exercise. But everything's kind of fragmented. You don't, it all gets pulled together later on. But I've got the paper and the behavior of using my direction. Like, I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. I forgot about you. Let me put the plate down. 